Um, how far away is the day of having a Tesla home charging car only unit, you know, the, for your garage? Are they, oh, we're working on inductive charging. Are so they, are they, uh, you don't even need to plug something in at that point. Or you just, just pull out your garage, drive over the yeah, pad yeah. and charge it. Does Tesla's Model 3 from 2023 support wireless charging? The Model 3's inside features cup holders, storage spaces, and an RFID transmitter that can read key cards and fobs. It also has USB ports, a wireless phone charger, and a 12V power outlet. After hinting at it earlier in the year, Tesla has now officially announced that it is developing a wireless inductive home charger for its electric vehicles. Prior to this year, Tesla had never demonstrated any interest in wireless charging. The issue that wireless charging addresses is not a significant one. It eliminates the requirement for you to plug in your car, which is a simple and quick operation. However, Tesla has already discussed automating the process to prepare for the development of self-driving technologies. It would make sense for the cars to be able to charge themselves without needing a person to plug them in if they were capable of driving alone. Tesla has always preferred an automated robotic arm to wireless charging for this purpose, but things have lately changed. The new wireless home charging station that Tesla hinted at earlier this year is seen above. Apart from sharing this photo as part of a presentation, the carmaker never made any comments on the circumstances. It did, however, briefly purchase a business that specializes in wireless charging before giving it back, though not before hiring several of its employees. It has now been formally verified by Tesla that it is developing a wireless home charging station. The most costly aspect of installing a home EV charger is frequently the installation, and wireless charging technology will further drive up that cost. In order to use a home wireless charging station, you must install an inductive pad, which frequently needs to be embedded into the concrete, in addition to the charger that you put on your wall and connect to your electrical panel. You also need an inductive receiver on the car, which increases the cost and weight in addition to the installation at home. Customers would go to all that trouble just to save themselves the three seconds it takes to plug it in, and it won't be inexpensive. Why can't cars use wireless charging, just like smartphones do? Ultimately, the batteries are comparable. The response remains unchanged. It's complicated. But Tesla, like Xiaomi and Volvo, is working on a fix. The company's vice president of vehicle engineering, Lars Moravi, and chief designer Franz von Holzhausen both state that wireless charging is presently under development. The comments were made during the pair's interview with Jay Leno. They covered a wide range of topics in addition to Cybertruck. Oh, we're working on the inductive charging, von Holzhausen said flatly during Leno's test drive of the Cybertruck, which is already available. Thus, there's no need to plug anything in at that moment. You simply drive over the pad when you pull into your garage and start charging. Although Tesla hinted at a similar accomplishment during its investor day in March, this is the first official statement from business executives indicating that it will happen. Given that this is Tesla, the time remains a question. The Cybertruck took four years to go from a concept car to a production vehicle. Though we can't guarantee it, we hope wireless charging won't be four years away. It seems logical that installing an inductive charger in your garage will cost a lot more than installing a conventional level 2 charger. This is due to the fact that placing an inductive pad into the garage floor may require concrete embedment. Of course, that comes with additional costs for installing a wall-mounted charger that must be connected to the electrical panel. Furthermore, the car must have an inductive receiver installed, which raises the cost and increases the weight of the vehicle. Notably, Tesla sold its acquisition of the German wireless charging startup Wifarian in October, after purchasing it this summer. The fact that the EV manufacturer has retained Wifarian's engineers suggests that they were given a job on Tesla's wireless charger project. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, bye. Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.